Hello friends, welcome to Technical Talks with Technocrat Pradeep Ji. Today, let us understand who owns internet. So if you are sitting in a home and watching this video in a computer or a laptop or in a mobile phone, you must be having an internet connection. I have uploaded this video to YouTube and then it is stored in somewhere in a YouTube server. The YouTube server may be in Singapore or maybe in India itself or maybe far away in a Silicon Valley that is California, USA. Whenever you clicked on this video, the video which is stored in the YouTube server has to be fetched and then has to be delivered to your device. Most of you might be thinking that uh, whatever internet communication happens, it happens through satellite. No, it is a wrong assumption. More than 99% of the data will pass through uh, optical fiber cables across the globe. Less than 1% of uh, data communication may be happening through satellite. Now, who has laid down these cables? Maybe you have an internet connection from a BSNL or a Airtel or maybe having a Geo internet connection or maybe a regional internet service provider so like ACT Broadband or maybe Hathway or a Spectranet in Bangalore. See, I'm shooting this video from a Bangalore. See, in Bangalore, we have an internet connection from a regional service provider called as a BBNL, that is Bangalore Broadband Network Private Limited. So these internet companies have a service locally that is maybe limited to Bangalore. That's it. So they don't have a cable running from Bangalore till Singapore or maybe till California. Now these internet service providers can be classified into three types that is a tier 1 company and then tier 2 company and then tier 3 company. Now tier 1 companies are those who lay down the optical fiber cable across the globe. Maybe they are connecting one continent to other continent. For example, Verizon, AT&T, CenturyLink, Tata Docomo, the Indian companies like a Bharati Airtel, Reliance and then Tata Teleservice. Now these companies will bring internet up to mainland here in India. So they have the optical fiber cables running under the sea connecting India to other countries or maybe other continents. Now once this data reaches mainland here in India, see in India we have a major reception centers one in Mumbai and other one in Kochi and one more in Tuticor in Tamil Nadu. Now, it's a tier 2 companies, they take an internet connection from these reception centers and then they will spread it across uh, the mainland India. Tier 2 companies have an optical fiber cable network across India. For example, it is BSNL. Now, it could be Tata Teleservice. Now, you might be wondering if I give this name, it is Indian Railways. Indian Railways is one of the tier 2 company because they have already acquired a lot of land to lay down the railway tracks. Now, right next to these railway tracks, they also have an optical fiber cable running. So, they have an optical fiber cable network across India. Now, these tier 2 companies will take the internet connection from those reception centers in a seashore and then they will spread it across India. Now, once it reaches your city, maybe it is a tier 3 companies like ACT Broadband or a Hathway or maybe a BSNL or maybe a Tata Teleservice or maybe a Reliance, they will bring the internet connection up to your home. Now, when you have an internet connection in your home, you pay the bill to tier 3 company. Now, since these tier 3 companies are utilizing the cables laid down by tier 2 companies, so they have to pay some amount to these tier 2 companies for their service. Now these tier 2 companies will carry the internet data across India and then they might be reaching the centers like uh, Mumbai, Cochin or Tuticorin where they end up handing over these data to tier 1 companies and tier 1 companies will carry your data across the globe. So these tier 2 companies must be paying some amount to tier 1 companies for carrying their data. Now tier 1 companies uh, need not pay any money to anyone but probably they will have to exchange the data among themselves. So one tier one company may be handing over the data to other tier one company. The companies like AT&T and then Verizon have a service in North America and then probably they are connected to European region. I don't think they are connecting India here. Now here in Asia Pacific region, it could be Tata Teleservice or it could be Reliance or it could be VSNL, the Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited and then they have cables across Asia Pacific region and some Singapore companies like a Singtel. 
Now, these tier 1 companies from India want to reach US. Now, Tata Tele Service doesn't have a cable up to California. At some point, probably they are handing over the data to other tier 1 company like Verizon or AT&T. So, they might be having an, some kind of a tie-up. So, I give you a data and then you carry it to US and then whatever data comes from US, so I will carry it here in a Asia Pacific region. So they must be having some kind of a agreement like this. Now this is how the internet is divided into three parts. So this particular video probably passing through tier 3 company to tier 2 company to tier 1 company and then it is fetching it from a YouTube server and then delivering it to you in your mobile phone or maybe in a desktop or a laptop computer. I am showing a couple of images here and a global map of optical fiber cable network. Hope you all like this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click on subscribe and then keep watching latest technical and educational videos. If you haven't clicked that bell button, click on it. Uh, you get a notification whenever I upload a video. Thanks once again. It was Technical Talks with Technocrat Pradeep G. See you all in the next video. See you. Bye-bye.